Today MTD have travelled to Tamworth to Brown and Holmes and I'm with the Managing Director Kevin Ward. Now Kevin, this is an absolutely beautiful trunnion assembly here that you've manufactured. Now can you give me some details about this trunnion please? Uh, basically um, a twist on a theme, we do a lot of ZPS um, work holding solutions from basic uh, ZPS receiver plates to trunnion solutions such as you see here which gives a multitude of op options for our customers as regards what they want to hold on there and we can supply different fixturing from standard to non-standard solutions which they can incorporate very quickly and change over very quickly and very accurately on a system such as this before us. Now this zero point system that's been incorporated into this trunnion bed. Is it an hydro hydraulic system? It's an hydraulic system, yeah. It's single acting, this one. You can see from the one supplier we've got there, we can offer double acting, which gives a bit more control. But yeah, it still offers the same speedy changeover uh, and fixturing and gives a very, very accurate location. Uh, the actual product that we incorporate is supplied from Rommel UK, which we find very, very reliable source to complement our designs and our manufacture. Now you mentioned standard product range, what standard product range have you, do you offer that could potentially mount onto this trunnion? There's various options basically depending on the component but we've incorporated onto standard base plates our chucks which we represent in the UK, uh, MyTech hydraulic mandrels can be utilised as well, um, yeah and the robot which we've uh, recently introduced uh, to our range of products can also be utilised and incorporated into the production system that we have here. Now this, this particular trunnion will be going onto a large free axis uh, machine. Now will this be going directly onto the machine or onto rotary tables and do you also supply rotary tables? We do, yes. We are UK agents for Sudacoma rotary tables and uh, yes, we can incorporate that into our scope of supply. But this uh, solution will mate with any any similar product. But yeah, we can supply the full, full solution basically, incorporating that standard product. Now, this is obviously a very versatile trunnion that lends itself to multitude of applications and, and you've mentioned the robotics, the Tetman robot, which you could automate the uh, trunnion with. However, this particular trunnion has been designed for a bespoke application, hasn't it? It has, yeah. It's initially dedicated to a fairly complex blade component. Um, which obviously needs the access around the blade profile, which being on a trunnion, it gives exactly that. Um, but yeah, it's got the versatility to hold various number of components which need to be machined through a number of axes. But uh, yes, this is pretty much bespoke solution for yeah, pretty much a new product in, now, in the blade range. And when people, when you say something is bespoke, usually it is bespoke to one particular application, but in this scenario it's not dedicated to one particular part because it gives you the versatility versatility of being able to use it for other bespoke solutions yeah, we, or standard products sorry, we're actually we're giving our customer the the, the versatility going forward the flexibility going forward that if they've got other components similar components in the range then obviously they can utilize the same solution but it also gives the option going forward that they can incorporate any type of fixture in where they need more than three axis access to to actually machine profiles now this is a uh, for me, what I would say is a fairly large trunnion assembly, but what is the largest that you go up to? Um, we've done similar uh, solutions over three metres, probably three and a half metres in length, to be honest. So, yeah, this is pretty much a baby solution for us at the moment. But, yeah, um, we can accommodate yeah, larger, larger solutions, certainly of this ilk, than the one we're standing before at the moment. And for people that were unaware of everything that you do within your portfolio, how should they get in touch to get, uh, you know, to make an inquiry with yourselves? Um, we've got a pretty descriptive website, which we spent quite a bit of time developing. Uh, we try to keep that pretty much up to date and get the latest news of what brand names are up to. But yeah, there's, a, there's various contacts within that website that you can approach us, and uh, we're happy to look at whatever production problems that may, may be out there, we're not just fixed to this type of solution. As I say, behind us, we're getting involved in automotive inline process um, solutions. Um, we've got a leading uh, automotive uh, supplier there who we've done some backup fixturing for their inline um, door assemblies, which uh, I can't say much more than that, but that, they're standing before us and uh, it just gives a, a bit of a a scope of the range of products that we can actually supply and the solutions that we can give.
So if someone's got a component that they need holding, they need to be contacting Brown do. and Holmes. They certainly do, Gio, yes. Cheers, Kev. Okay, pleasure. <laughs>